We were hoping that Chalice would protect Abyss, but it's the reason Elfric got captured. That's ironic. The people here really adore him. I'm sure they'd appreciate our help getting him back. Then again, are we getting too involved? Maybe we should leave before we make things any worse. The identities of the Cardinals are a closely guarded secret of the Church. Yet Elfric's status was disclosed in that letter. Could this signal a power struggle within the Church? Or perhaps that's what they want us to believe. Either way, we should pay close attention. I see. According to the legend that Elfric shared with us, the Chalice has the power to bring back the dead. Are his captors hoping to resurrect someone? Hmm. Or perhaps they simply intend to sell it for an exorbitant payoff. So it turns out all Elfric is a cardinal, huh? Hard to imagine such an important figure getting abducted. And whoever took him somehow knows we have the chalice. I bet they know how to use the thing, too. I doubt they just plan to decorate their mantle with it. The leader of the group that took Elfric. I've seen him before. He wouldn't hesitate to slaughter an entire town if he stood to gain even a little by it. His laugh chills me to the bone. No. I have seen nothing. I have been here, in this place where I always am. You cannot think it was me who did something. I am full of innocence! Let's see... Hey you, listen up. I've got something to report. And it's me. I... I'm a failure. A farce. An insult to the noble title of Abyss Keeper. Master Elfric's done so much for me. I wanted to pay him back one day, but instead... I let this happen. I'll never make this up to him. I'm disgusted with myself. Don't look at me, I'm a monster. I was speaking with Happy earlier, and it dawned on me that she may possess a unique crest. Perhaps it's linked to the Four Apostles. If so, then in the chasm... No, there isn't enough to back that up. Hmm? Oh, sorry, Professor. I need to think on this longer before sharing my theories. prominent figure in the church. If the Archbishop hears what happened, she might send the Knights of Seros. That'd make things complicated. Folks down here don't trust him. <sighs> it all happened so fast. They forced their way in and took Elfric. There was nothing I could do. We all wanted to fight, but Elfric stopped us. He always thinks of others first. Even if it means sacrificing himself. What do you require? Farewell. Welcome. This one? Thank you. This one? Thank you. This one? Thank you. Please come again. Okay. It's gotten pretty dangerous around here, so we've sent all the children back to their homes. I hope Elfric's all right. The Ashen Wolves are strong, but I don't think even they can do this on their own. You'll lend them a hand, won't you, Professor? Please, save Elfric. Ask me, we can't expect to just mosey on by, hand over the chalice, and make it out alive. Nothing sounds better than saving Elfric and roughing up the jerks who took him. It's just... well, as the relentless king of grappling, I'll be fine. But I'm worried about the others. Really? Elfric's been taken hostage. Who could do such a dishonorable thing? It doesn't matter. Abyss needs him. We've got to form a rescue party. 
I just hope we're not getting in over our heads. We don't exactly know what we're dealing with. Hmm. Things were dicey for a bit there. Gotta say, I'm relieved that no harm befell anyone in Abyss. I've made sure that the elderly and children are hidden in their homes. They need to stay safe. Nothing right now. But I might call on you for a favor later. So, that's the deal. People are safe for now. But I can't shake the feeling that something's just off. All we can do at this point is focus on the problem staring us in the face. So that all we can We've gotta get Alfie back. I was abducted once, when I was younger. My captor used me as a test subject in her twisted experiments. Maybe we can just give them the chalice and they'll release him unharmed. Might I have a word? It concerns the blackguards who abducted Elfric. I alluded to it before, but I sincerely believe there is a spy in Abyss. We are in agreement, then? Yuri is exceedingly devoted to his friends, but there are times that he can be a bit too trusting. Welcome! Come back soon. Will this one do? Many thanks. Will this one do? Will this one do? Many thanks. Come back soon. Welcome. Will this one do? Will this one do? Many thanks. Come back soon. We really lucked out there. Fewer injuries than I would have expected, and most were minor. I suppose the only conclusion we can draw is that they really were after Elfric all this time. Perhaps they were instructed to avoid unnecessary casualties. Is that Elfric guy really a cardinal? Are the secret cardinals really a thing? I thought that was a myth. Hard to believe. Did you folks in the Ashen Wolves know that? No, that's news to me. The identity of the Cardinals is top secret, even within the Church. He never would have told us something like that. Oh, except maybe Yuri. He and I talk about a lot of things. But right now, I'd say we have more important topics to discuss than his title. Alfred's been kidnapped. What are we going to do about it? Even if it is in the name of rescuing him, we simply cannot hand over the Chalice to those scoundrels! Let's just give them the thing and be done with it. Professor, 
I came as fast as I could when I heard the report. I had no idea you'd be here. Is this loud, uh, excitable night a friend of yours? <laughs> you humble me, Professor. I'm Alois. I serve the church as a knight of Seros. Now, about Elfric's kidnapping. Since he's an important member of the church, we must use any means necessary to find him. That said, most of the holy knights have been deployed to deal with the Western Church. Sure, but any knights are better than no knights, yeah? I like your attitude. Though I'm still embarrassed that we're not in full force. But hey, at least we're quite forceful. <sighs> Here, take this letter. We believe it was left by whoever kidnapped the Cardinal. In it, the enemy clearly spells out their plan. They're after a chalice that was hidden beneath abyss. A chalice, hmm? A chalice? Hmm. Ah, do you mean THE chalice? But no, why would it be there? I've never heard anything about it being stowed away in Abyss. Then this is gonna come as a shock, pal. What in the goddess's name? Is that really the chalice from the legends? The probability of that is unassailably high, yes. It was guarded by a bunch of giant creepy toys. There was powerful magic protecting it and everything. If you say so, Wow, that means the story about the chalice being bound was true. Well, what's done is done. Oh, but I guess it's not done just yet. I must report this to Lady Rhea at once. Cindered Shadows. Betrayal. So that is what transpired. This is indeed the Chalice of Beginnings. It matches the descriptions and the few records of it that remain. Don't beat around the bush. What's our punishment? You removed a most sacred treasure. Truly, it is my obligation to mete out punishment for that transgression. However, you also helped the Church locate a valuable artifact. In light of this good deed, I shall forgive the bad one. I do wonder. I am wondering whether your presence had anything to do with the artifacts unbinding, Professor. As per the Church Chronicles, the Four Apostles secured the Chalice with powerful magic. The only way to release the Chalice is by using the Four Crests passed down through their bloodlines. However, Given the special power you possess, perhaps you were able to unlock it yourself. There is no knowing at present. For the time being, I will keep the chalice somewhere safe. As for Elfric, I assure you that the knights will find and return him in due time. I consider him to be one of my many children, after all. I will not allow harm to befall him. Lady Rhea, might I ask a moment of your time? We cannot be expected to give up our endeavor. The enemy stated most clearly that if the knights are involved, our dear Elfric is finished. We owe him so much. If there is any possibility that his life is in danger, the risk is too great to chance. True. The knights are strong and all, but they're liable to get him killed. We can take care of it, with Chatterbox's help. Our professor has the strength of a hundred knights. Or about one and a half of me. We've got this. How about it, Rhea? We've been through too damned much to get here. Leave the Chalice and Elfric to us. You won't regret it. Lady Rhea, please. Hmm. If you consent to join your power with theirs, Yes, perhaps there is hope. As you wish, I shall entrust you with the chalice. 
Your Grace, the chalice is a legendary treasure. You can't just hand it over to those underground... That is quite enough. There is no cause to worry, I assure you. There will be no further discussion on the matter. Even if we lost hold of the chalice, it would be impossible for the thieves to make use of it. Though it was created to return a life that was lost, I doubt that anyone alive knows how to accomplish that feat. If someone were to successfully replicate the ritual, it would perhaps be the work of fate. Hey boss, been meaning to ask, how'd you end up down here in Abyss? What is this? Some sort of interrogation? Yeah, you've never been big on sharing. I mean, you know all about me, and there's still so much I don't know about you. Look, I get it. Talking about the past isn't easy. But I'm curious, yeah? So get to it. I've got all day. Do you now? <laughs> well, I guess now's as good a time as any to tell you. I'm here because I killed some people from the church. That cannot be! Originally, I attended the academy as Count Rose adopted kid. There came a point when the church ordered me to wipe out some members from my old gang. Told me it was part of some important mission. Who is this old gang you speak of? They were nothing more than common thieves to someone like you, Constance. Anyway, they're like family to me. So naturally, I protested my orders. Things got pretty heated and, well, the rest is history. That's some story, pal. You're damn lucky they didn't execute you. <laughs> You're telling me. Alfred stepped in and import them to spare my life. Told them to consider the circumstances. It's not so different for the rest of you. I'm sure he helped all of us out in different ways. He did. I was about to be thrown in the monastery's underground jail. People thought I was dangerous, what with my gift and all. It's dark and dingy here, but it sure beats a prison cell. Elfie really saved my neck. Back to the point. Balthus, what was it you were so curious about? You had ideas regarding why our enemies may be clawing after the chalice, perhaps? No, nothing like that. But I am hung up on something Rhea said. That binding on the chalice was linked to the Four Apostles, yeah? I know I've got Chevalier's... Sorry, but mind if I cut in? What is it? Can't you see we're busy? I can, but I just remembered something. Something important. Specifically, the names of the Apostles. Oban, Chevalier, Noah, and Timotheus. The four Apostles whose bloodlines were lost to time. I figured the Ashen Wolves might have thoughts about all that. Uh, uh... No use hiding it now, Constance. Let's lay all of our cards on the table. As for me, I've got the major crest of Chevalier. When I enrolled at the Academy, the Church ordered me to keep that tidbit to myself. So I did. Mm-hmm. And I've got the major crest of Oban. Never did sort out how it is I have this thing. As for me, the blood of Saint Noah courses through my veins. This is kept hidden, even from the Empire. Which probably means mine's from Timotheus. I do have a vague recollection of being told my crest is rare. So the four crests, which were presumed lost, have all been gathered into the same house. All thanks to our buddy Elfric, it would seem. And now Elfric has been abducted. Why could that be? If it was the chalice they were after, they could have stolen it from us without the need for anything sly. Maybe someone had it out for him. Or maybe he messed around with the wrong people. Or it could just be unrelated entirely. We're trying to untangle this mess by tying more knots into it. I mean, Balthus, you landed here on accident, didn't you? It's not like that's linked to the rest of us. And I could just as easily have never ended up down here, you know? You're jumping at shadows. Anyway, we don't have time for this. Let's get our act together and head to the chapel ruins. All that trouble bringing Lady Rhea a priceless artifact and not so much as a thank you? We had to release the binding and everything! 
Well, I mean, it kind of released on its own, but still! Let's wrap this up and head home, so I can get some quality sauna time. Hilda needs a steaming. The four apostles. Finally, it makes sense. I never understood why my village was hidden away from the rest of the world. But now I finally get it. What a relief. Ah, my head's gonna explode if I keep thinking about all this complicated junk. For now, we just need to focus on rescuing Elfric and sniffing out some answers. I know it's been one crisis after another, but you're still game to help us, yeah? We need you, pal. Is Elfric an enemy or an ally? He's worked tirelessly to protect Abyss for years and years. Yet, had House Nouvelle not met such a terrible fate, I would never have come to Garrick Mach. And Noah's bloodline would never... Can his kidnapping really be a simple coincidence? Or... I suppose it's all out in the open. Now you know just what I'm capable of. The church would have destroyed me ages ago if it wasn't for a certain someone having my back. My life was spared. It's a debt I intend to pay, no matter the cost. Professor? Huh! I can't believe my wild hypothesis was correct! I may not look it, but I'm shocked. It's like casting a line and thinking you've landed the big one, but then you reel it in and it setteth. Okay, that was a weird analogy. The point is, I'm very, very shocked. So, to be honest, I'm surprised Lady Rhea was so willing to just hand over the chalice like that. Doesn't the church consider it important? I know she said they wouldn't be able to use it, but something doesn't feel right. Elfric's objective? Since our journey's outset, the mystery has only deepened. Ah, please, forgive me. Musing aloud isn't going to get us anywhere. For now, let's finish our preparations. I fear a battle is imminent. Those lost crests. They must all have their own relics, don't you think? Uh, but before we dig into a new mystery, we better figure out the ones we're already working on. I have a theory, but I actually scratch that. No use guessing when our answers await at the chapel ruins. Really? The descendants of the Four Apostles. Fascinating. To think that their bloodlines carried on in secret, right under our noses. One was even disguised as Imperial nobility. House Nouvelle was thought to be descended from St. Macula, but that was a fabrication. How did they manage to avoid detection for so many generations? <sighs> there is danger here, because we could be attacked. But the same danger is there for me on the surface. The only way to leave the danger is to disappear. So it is. Really? Hey! Hey you, listen up. I've got something to report. Guess that's pretty usual here. Maybe it's not worth reporting. Perhaps I should say, nothing to report? Nah, tried it on, doesn't feel right. In any case, about Master Elfric. Bring him back to us, okay? For my part, I'll look after things down here. If our enemy shows up, I'll stay by my post. I mean, I have to eat and stuff, but I'll come right back. Count on it. Oh, Elfric dies. Abyss will go right back to being the garbage dump it was before. Won't matter too much for an old codger like myself, but, but the kids. It'd be hard to see their hopes for the future crushed. 
please? Maybe you think this is a bad time to talk about what we drink down here. But I'm gonna anyway. See, the problem isn't in the local ingredients. It's what's getting shipped in that's the issue. With the right equipment, we could probably make our own. Cut out the need to import anything. Hell, maybe we could even export some of it. As soon as Elfric's back, I'm gonna see what he thinks of the idea. So, uh, make sure Elfric comes back safe, alright? If the Church knows that Elfric's been abducted, why haven't the Knights of Saros done anything? I know you're all doing your best. I just hope it'll be enough. We can't afford to lose him. Please. Please. Hey there. Yuri somehow always keeps his cool. He's closer with Elfric than anyone, so he's got the most reason to be upset. I'm sure he's just really good at hiding the same feelings we're all having. Hey! The Ashen Wolves can take on anything. They'll make sure it all turns out okay, won't they? It was surface people who took Elfric away. But you're from the surface too. Maybe only some surface people are the worst. Anyway, good luck! Hey, friend. Let's not deny that there's a connection between us. How about you and me have ourselves a little date, huh? It only happens when I'm being a little greedy. When the bell strikes midnight, meet me out front at the Holy Mausoleum. My only condition is that you arrive promptly after midnight, and not a moment before. What say you? All will be revealed when you arrive. Nobles have nearly killed one another fighting for my affections, you know. Perhaps you won't get all you want out of me. <laughs> but I'll promise you a fun time regardless. It's settled. I'll see you tomorrow night, friend. Don't stand me up. Your Grace, please reconsider. The Chalice is among the Church's greatest treasures, akin to even the hero's relics. I am well aware, which is why I have already dealt with the matter. Consider this. The hero's relics are fearsome weapons imbued with great power. On the contrary, the chalice has long lost the power it once possessed. It is little more than a token of history. If that is so, then why is it still considered such an important artifact? It was created for a sacred purpose. To use the blood of the Four Apostles to return the Goddess to our world. Their blood. Your Grace, is something the matter? I have an urgent mission for you. Investigate the origins of the Ashen Wolves. Start with their enrollment forms for the Academy. Keep an eye out for falsified documents. Yes, of course. Understood. Before you begin, Summon Alaris at once. I have new orders for the knights as well. As you wish, Your Grace. If I am correct, we haven't a moment to lose. Another tragedy is soon to transpire. That crumbly old chapel somewhere nearby or what? I can play a little part here, save perhaps as a bargaining chip for our dear Elfric. Getting yourself captured instead? That wouldn't be good at all, Constance. I think we should be more worried about B's appearance. I mean, he's got way, way more, uh, life experience than the rest of us. And all that life experience makes you look more like a knight than a student, B. You saying I'm old, pal? 
Don't forget, you're speaking to the ageless king of grappling. She's not wrong, Balti. There's a pretty big age gap between you two. You're friends with Helda's older brother, right? That explains your maturity. You make Hubert look like a spring chicken. Can it, will ya? Anyway, I'm wearing a school uniform. No way in hell they'll think I'm a knight. Yeah, and anyone wearing a school uniform is without a doubt a student. To be honest, for a good while, I actually did think you might be a knight. Who made your uniforms and set up the Ashen Wolf House, anyhow? If I might so humbly interject, that would be Elfric. He pulled everything together for us, sometime after he was appointed as the Guardian of Abyss. Said he wanted to give former students who are expelled from the Academy somewhere to live. Somewhere to belong. Of course, all of this was established long before any of us were in the picture. Perhaps. After hearing all of that, it's not as unbelievable as I'd thought. All I know is that he helped me, so I'll help him. I strongly doubt that I shall factor into Elfric's retrieval, but I shall follow your lead. There it is. We owe Elfric. Maybe your goddess doesn't care about debts, but my fists and I sure do. Sorry to have roped you into all this, friend. We owe you. Just stick with us a bit longer, won't you? This is great! That's me ready to get to it and start hitting things. Ever since I was a kid, I've lived my life by one rule. That I'd only play my hand if I was guaranteed victory. I've gotten this far by using my cunning in any way necessary. Lying, cheating, even killing when there was no other way. But this next play? Well, the odds don't exactly seem to be in my favor. Not unless you trust me enough to provide me with an ace. <laughs> Never you mind, friend. Let's just go. <laughs> At last you've arrived. You certainly took your sweet time. My flock, why have you come? Save you, of course. You didn't really think we just up and abandon you, did you? If I may be so bold, we have the chalice you seek. Might I humbly request that you return, Elfric? You found the chalice? When I told you of it, I never imagined you'd... Let's make sure it's not some cheap imitation. Hand it over. Not until you hand over the hostage. There needs to be some degree of a trusting exchange here. I can see you don't understand your own predicament. We've no issue killing the lot of you and taking it either way. I can't tell if this guy's ears are stuffed with wool or if he's just this stupid. Can't say I'm surprised. Folks like this aren't about to show us any gesture of sincerity. Yuri, stand down. Leave me. Take the chalice and flee. You must. It is irreplaceable. You must not hand it to these brigands. <laughs> you know us better than that. We didn't come here without a plan. Do your thing, Happy. Wait, do what thing? Seriously? Right now? Uh... Now, Happy! Fine, fine, fine! <sighs> Her sigh! She... Gotta say, that sigh of hers never gets old. Yeah, yeah, glad you like the show. It's not like it's a gift I asked for. Uh, where did that thing come from? <laughs> Absolute cowards. How entertaining. Balthus, will you do the honors? Leave it to me, boss. I got damn! <laughs> Ow! 
Hey, Balthus, quit screwing around. Oh. Wow. It flew off of him. I'll sort it out. At least we got Elfric back in one piece. Now to handle these fools. Cheap party tricks! Let's make these children scream! Your reckless actions could have been the death of you. Still, I thank you for saving me. Don't go thanking me yet. We've still got to get out of here. <laughs> There's no time for foolish blunders when our future is at stake. We must complete the mission the noble gave us. We shall vanquish these infidels post-haste. Didn't mind brawling a giant bird, but now I'm stuck here. Oh well, time to show what happens when the awe-inspiring King of Grappling goes all out. Cut through. I will prevail. Who, me? Ready and willing. My moment has arrived. 
Never underestimate an outsider. Stay focused. Yep. Sure thing. Give it my all. Deeply sorry that you got involved in this mess, too. Please, just for now, lend me your aid. Let us all return home alive and well. a weakling to their demise.
too shabby. Now that's uh... How it goes. Battle, a chance to grow. next. Forget who you're dealing with. Those cats are calling for backup. When will this end?
inevitable. Already. I will get stronger yet. Continues. I expect no less. Done yet.
more than a storm, huh? Can't wait for my next brawl. Sped a week into their demise. So this. Uh, there's still so many of them. Happy? You know what to do. Again? What do you take me for, a Psy servant? and Garrick Mock! Ah, uh, well, uh, perhaps I can take the treasure they found as a parting gift. So far left to go. Use caution. Huh. Victory. If only my reason. Next. Yeah! 
fought well. Who's next?
не здоров. Thing. <laughs> Face it, I'm better than you. Cut through.
out of my way. I'll never be satisfied. Who's next? Just a few more moves, then all will know that I am the Empire's... <laughs> Forget I said anything. Then again, if you die, it won't matter either way. Sure thing. Ready and willing. Stay focused. The sun. Let me at him. Yep. Ugh. Battle. Quite a lot. <sighs> I'll give it my all. Who, me? Sorry. Just a few more moves. Then all will know that I am the Empire's... <laughs> Forget I said anything. Then again, if you die, it won't matter either way. No time like the present. Come on! Come on. Come on. Come on. Princess Edelgard. Huh. How dare you disrespect House Restbell? This ends here. <laughs> One 
step at a time. I can explain. Really, please spare me! You're pathetic. An enemy like you is hardly worth my time. You okay, Elfric? I am. All thanks to you. The chalice, is it unharmed? Yes, it's safe. Chatterbox is... What? Nighty night! Yuri! You damn scoundrel, what are you doing? <laughs> I think you can see what I'm doing, Balthus. Beautifully executed, Yuri. The chalice is finally mine now, along with the blood of the Four Apostles. It seems I was correct, that there was an enemy in our midst. To think our bird was instead a rat. You've always had a wild imagination, Constance. <laughs> I've got to say, turning your attention elsewhere was a challenge, even for me. That is enough for the banter, Yuri. I informed you not to divulge too much. They'll all be under the dirt soon enough. It's not like they'll be able to talk at that point. After all I've gone and done for you, Elfric, I would think you'd have just a bit more faith in me. Your silence speaks volumes. <sighs> Guess this is the end of the niceties. It's all on you now, friend. I'm sure you and the others will figure it out. Professor! Are you injured? Impossible. Surely you suffered a wound. Teach, there's no time for playing around. Tell us how... Ah, uh, I get it. He only pretended to attack you, didn't he? So you were just playing a part in this grand performance. But was that really the smartest decision here? The Chalice and the Ashen Wolves are gone. I am loath to think what will become of them without our help. And how do you propose we pursue them? We haven't a clue where they went. Well, we know what they're after. That at least narrows down the possibilities. <sighs> Professor, are we too late? Lady Rhea, why have you come? After sending all of you off, I began to investigate the lineage of the Ashen Wolves. In doing so, I was able to confirm that the documented information about their crests was falsified. What was once a wild speculation, I now know to be true. The crests they bear are the same as those of the Four Apostles. The very same who long ago enacted the Rite of Rising. Once the blood of the Four is poured upon the Chalice, its power can be harnessed. I believe we have enough evidence to assume that our Ashen Wolves will suffice to carry out this ritual. So, Elfric's aim must be to carry out the Rite of Rising at the expense of the students. Lady Rhea, what precisely is the purpose of this ritual? We've heard it has the power to resurrect life, but that can't be true, can it? The Chalice is a holy artifact created by the goddess herself. It serves to restore a physical form that was previously lost to this world. So those wild tales are true. It really can bring someone back to life. Not exactly. It can breathe life into a body, but it cannot return a spirit that has already departed. Ultimately, it is a tool to return the goddess to her physical form. Her spirit is omnipresent, but her flesh is no more. Such incredible power is truly awe-inspiring, and extremely dangerous. In that way, it is akin to the hero's relics. For this reason, the four apostles were never intended to pass down their crests. This gathering should never have been possible. The Ashen Wolves are now gathered together, making it possible once more. 
And Elfric is at the center of this mess, luring them all to Abyss for his own selfish reasons. Without so much as a whisper of it to the church, of course. This incident is my own doing. I never should have entrusted the chalice to them. Lady Rhea, do you have any idea where they could have gone? I do, indeed. Garrick Mark, which is protected by the goddess, is the only place the Rite of Rising can be performed. Holding such a ritual requires absolute focus, so I imagine the setting would need to be serene, peaceful. There are countless such places within the monastery walls. It's certainly peaceful there, but due to last month's incident, it's heavily guarded at present. For now, let us return to the monastery. There is much to consider. <sighs> Lady Rhea! You look troubled, Alois. What has happened? <sighs> Thieves have breached Garrick Mark's village walls. They've been pillaging the shops and residences, taking whatever they please. I wonder if this has anything to do with Elfric. There's no telling, but for now, their numbers are too great. They need the knights. By your will, Lady Rhea, allow us to clear the village of these hooligans. Yes, Alois. Please ensure the safety of the villagers immediately. However, leave a few of your best knights here with me. Yes, Your Grace. I'll see to it. Teach? You look like you've got something to say. He told you to meet up with him at the Holy Mausoleum? You never run out of secrets, do you, Teach? I'm certain that Yuri had his reasons for setting up this meeting. He took the time to speak with you, however cryptically, before he left. Fair point, Dimitri. I do wonder why he told you it needed to be after midnight. Wouldn't it be better to rush to their aid immediately? Yuri's no fool. There's a method to his madness. <laughs>